What you eat and how you eat can impact your energy. Let's review some nutrition tips on how to improve your productivity and stabilize your energy throughout the day. Energy is defined as the capacity for vigorous activity or available power. Even dictionary.com uses the example of eating chocolate to get a quick energy boost. Energy can ebb and flow, but chronic low energy or consistently suffering from afternoon slumps might be a sign that something is off. Energy is impacted by our nutrition, physical activity, sleep, stress, and a multitude of other factors. Today, we're going to review how nutrition and food impact your energy level. How can you tell if something is off? Ask yourself if you feel tired upon waking up even after getting adequate sleep, or do you have trouble concentrating or experience brain fatigue? Do you rely on energy drinks on a daily basis, or do you need more than two cups of coffee to feel awake? Do you struggle staying alert, especially in the afternoon between lunch and dinner? Or do you suddenly feel more awake in the evening or have trouble falling asleep after feeling tired all day long? If you suffer from any of those troubles with energy, you can try to maximize your energy through food. Four tips that we're going to review today are to eat breakfast, eat frequently throughout the day, aim to balance your blood sugar, and aim to reduce inflammation. We've all heard that breakfast is the most important meal, but breakfast, which is defined as a meal within two hours of waking up, syncs our peripheral clock with our central clock. This supports our natural circadian rhythm and in turn, it can support the natural rise and fall of our energy with how each day rises and falls. When we look at breakfast items, many are high in refined carbohydrate and they're low in protein. When you choose your breakfast, aim for complex carbohydrates, quality protein, and healthy fat. A couple examples are to use avocado toast on whole grain bread with an egg or try Greek yogurt with berries and walnuts. Aiming to balance your blood sugar will help prevent those afternoon dips in energy. They also promote clearer thinking, better concentration, and can help curb evening calorie cravings. You can find that blood sugar balance by eating every three to five hours starting with breakfast, enjoying complex carbohydrates evenly throughout the day. These are starchy vegetables like sweet potato, whole grains like quinoa and oats, beans, legumes, and fruit. We wanna to aim to pair these carbohydrates with healthy protein and healthy fat, which help balance our blood sugar and sustain us for hours so we can think clearly and feel energized. Our next point is antioxidants and energy. Antioxidants are food components which are against oxidation. Oxidation is a chemical reaction in the body that produces free radicals, compounds which can damage the body and cause chronic inflammation. This chronic inflammation has been linked to fatigue through research. How do we include more antioxidants in the diet? We focus on plant foods. If you look at this long list of foods high in antioxidants, you'll see fruits, vegetables, spices and herbs, nuts, beans, and seeds. When we eat a plant-forward diet, we're eating plenty of antioxidants. To use these foods to fight inflammation, to fight chronic fatigue, we will be trying to increase the amount of anti-inflammatory foods that we eat and decrease the inflammation-causing foods that we eat. Foods high in trans fat, added sugar, refined grains, animal proteins, especially those high fat or fried animal proteins, and alcohol. When we can increase our plant foods and decrease our processed foods, we're helping our body fight inflammation and increase energy. To recap, we wanna eat breakfast, eat throughout the day, balance our blood sugar, and aim to reduce inflammation through our food choices. This will help us balance our energy, feeling the most productive throughout the entire day, and help us sleep better at night so we can wake up feeling refreshed.